Charis Missionary Church. Uh, my name is Medicine Love and uh, I'm from Johannesburg. So um, the problem that brought me here is uh, of uh, sickness. So yeah, when I went to the man of God, he told me everything that was happening in my life. So yeah, so I hope that uh, as he prayed for me, everything will be according. What were you sick of? Uh, I was, okay, yeah, first of all, uh, I went to the hospital. They said that I have TB. Then after that, they said HIV. So I decided to seek the hand of God for my problems. And how did that affect you? Um, um, okay, uh, let me say spiritually, it affected me a lot because whenever I think about doing something, then when that thing comes into my heart, I uh, tell myself, okay, maybe I can try to do this. Then how will I achieve it? Maybe I will die, you know, something like that, yeah. So, yeah. And today, by the grace of God, you were able to meet the man of God on one-on-one -on -one session. How was it? Yeah, I feel something um, is happening in my life right now. So, um, even my hope is now... Let me say, I've got now hope of living again, of which now I, I can dream again, knowing that I've got life in me. And when they prayed for you at that moment, how did you feel in your body? Yeah, a lot of change, but uh, mostly what I can say is uh, I felt hope in me. So that, uh, because I know that when I'm, all, I'm okay, I can do anything that God wants me to do. So I'm so happy and uh, I hope to come uh, back again soon to testify. As I believe that God gave you strength to come and tell us about the situation that you're facing without even thinking or looking on what people will say. What can you encourage other people out there who are still closed in their own closet because they believe that when you're having HIV, it's something that people are becoming afraid of you or it's a death sentence. What can you say to them? Um, what I can say, really, what I discovered in myself. So the first time when they told me that I'm HIV positive, uh, I, I even hid it to my family. So, but now, uh, what I come to uh, came to discover is that if you become honest, there is no sickness Jesus cannot heal. So, if you become honest, you can get help. But if you hide, you will die. So, what I can say to other people is that. Um, Whatever situation that we are in, Jesus Christ is the solution. So be honest with the situation and be, be open to Jesus Christ. There is no situation that is uh, impossible. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you.